just coming up on the left hand side is the Wolverton Works. Yeah, the works there. So you can just see on the left that little bit of line going down underneath. That actually uh, is the access to the works. And also, just coming up in the middle to the right there is a little bit of a siding. The, the Royal Train is kept at Wolverton Works. It always has been, still is there now. And you will see it out on occasion. You'll see it on the main line, but you'll also see it when they bring it out of the works. It's stood in the, the sidings just over there. We, we've just gone through on the right hand side. Um, and the Royal Train has been around for uh, Queen Victoria had the road first, one of the first Royal Trains. And if you go to the National Railways, you, you'll see various versions of it. I think the latest version we have has been current for now, probably since the late 70s, early 80s. And um, Royal Family make good use of it. I don't think they make use of it a great deal at this moment in time, but certainly they have done in the past. And they're very secretive about the Royal Train. Nobody, unless you're on the Royal Train, gets to know about the Royal Train. Pretty James Bond, I suppose. Um, and the timings, etc., all kept very uh, in-house. But I, I've actually worked on the Royal Train. I uh, left Euston and went to Northampton with it when uh, Charles and Diana were on it after they had uh, had their wedding. And uh, I was a second man or a driver's assistant at that time on the Royal Train. And uh, only time I ever did it. And um, very interesting. I have a, uh, a driver um, inspector with you at the time. He, he sits with you and somebody times the train inside the vehicle. And you have to pass everywhere at exactly the right time. Uh, yeah, very methodical uh, way of working as well. I think my dad said he was always invited to work the Royal Train, um, and he said no, I was never ever invited again. <laughs> All right, I don't know if you got to say no, I didn't get a choice, I, I was marked to do it and I did it. We've just been through uh, Castlethorpe Station there, and in the steam days, just a quick note here, uh, at Castlethorpe, just as you approach the station there, at the side of each of the tracks they had troughs, and they filled the troughs with water, and on the side of the steam engines was a scoop, and they used to wind the scoop down, like a handbrake, wind it down and, and scoop water up for the boiler uh, at Castlethorpe. That was one of the, the places there that you would scoop water up, fill your boiler up, ready, uh, going north and south. Uh, the fireman's job would be scoop the water up there. That was Hanslope Junction as well, when we just passed. That's where you, well, you can tell them. I was going to say, yeah, I believe the fireman, if he missed the water troughs, was in serious trouble because you'd, the chances <laughs> of running out of water were pretty high. Yeah. Possibly. Don't ever damage a wood boiler. Possibly. Uh, we've just gone through Hanslope Junction again back there, and uh, you can see now the two lines on the right will suddenly go off and disappear out of sight. That is down to Northampton. So Hanslope is your uh, fast line, slow line cut off now. So if you are on the right-hand side, you are going via Northampton to uh, Rugby. Uh, both lines go to Rugby, but one goes on the diversionary route to Northampton. Originally, the line was two lines here. So the lines we are currently on is the old line. That is the two fast lines. That was originally built, and the original part of the railway. 50 years later, the slow lines were added, uh, and they were added via Northampton. There was a number of reasons that it didn't get added in the first place. Some said it was grumbling landowners, didn't want the railway, but the story officially is that the steam engines of the day couldn't uh, get up the gradient. It's quite a gradient between where we cut off here shortly at road, uh, and we call it the birdcage, you'll see why shortly. Um, the gradient from Northampton up to there was quite considerable, and the steam engines of the day probably wouldn't have been able to get up there. So the official story is that... Uh, 50 years after this line was built that we're on, the old line, the new line from Northampton was added when steam trains became more powerful and could uh, get up the gradients that uh, were, they were faced with from Northampton. But this is the bird cage. And you can see the line just go, and go out of sight shortly. And we'll carry on. A little bit of tilt there. We're doing, again, 125 mile an hour. In fact, this part now that we're in is one of the longest sections of 125 mile an hour uh, railway. It pretty much goes just up to Weedon, where we slow down a little bit. But uh, from 
uh, Watford Tunnel to Weedon is all 125 mile an hour if you're on a pendolino and you are tilting. 